Hello and welcome back to What's Bubbling in Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. And in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at what's new with Zim Physics. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We will go to the code and hit copy like so. And we'll reduce this down, F11. So we've got a template here and paste the template in. We'll call this one blob physics, uh, like that. Uh, we're bringing in Zim014, and that's Zim, and we want physics. So physics, like so. And we won't do a circle, but instead we will say a new blob. And we will tell the blob to have a points of about six points and control type colon quote none. Otherwise it will be rounded. Uh, I would like to make a round thing. Um, and we'll dot center that on the stage for now. And let's have a look at it. Open up in that default browser. So there's our blob. And because we, our control points were none there, normally the control points would have these guys on them or something like it. And they would end up being uh, that many points, but it would end up being round. Well, do you want to see that? It's quite common. If we left the, the control points out, then we would see this. Refresh, and there they are. That gives us those extra <laughs> control control points that we can use. But if we specify none, so how blob, blobs in physics work is it just makes a polygon using the points of the blob. So it doesn't do the curves, only straight lines between the points. And then we can add physics. Um, and probably we should add physics this way. Const physics equals a new physics. If we just added physics right to the blob, it would have worked as well, but then we wouldn't have been able to do some other things. Um, there we go. And that will have gravity by nature. We couldn't physics dot drag, for instance, which will drag anything in the physics world. And let's have a look. Oh, control points back to none. And let's also change it to color. So you can see it a bit better. Purple. Yeah, right. Right. We refresh. And there it is. Um, oh, we still haven't we we haven't added physics yet to it. Right. Uh, so there it is centered. And then we will dot add physics like so. So that adds physics to it. And uh, let's have a look. Refresh. Boop, and there it goes, and it just fell down. So another thing we'll want to do is get rid of the control points as well. So make it interactive colon false. Should probably do that automatically. I thought we did, but maybe we didn't. So there they are. Oh, that's interesting. Did you see that? When it dropped, it's perfectly, perfectly drops uh, right on its point. <laughs> There we go. This is quite a unique physics world, isn't it? Uh, there we go. All right. So now we have a, a blob that is in physics. One thing is you, that you have to be careful of. It has to be a convex polygon. So what that means is all the angles here. Uh, you can't have an inner angle greater than 180 degrees, basically. So it can't have a cave in it. Um, we can do uh, something like a cave. So why don't we take a look and see. But that, what that is is joining multiple um, objects together with the join. That's pretty easy to do. And we have an example of that as well. So under examples here and Zim, here's that example. So I'm going to press that. This is cat. So now what we've got are a bunch of uh, blobs that we brought in there. You see all those blobs? But look at this guy right here, which we can't drag. I, I can kind of drag it around by dragging other things on top. But that cat that's there is indeed, it's a blob made up of multiple sides here and then a line going straight across. So this part of the cat in the physics world is a blob. But these triangles are Zim triangles that are also physics objects. And then we join these guys together and that way we get a concave physics object. That's a, a limitation of Box2D and other physics engines as well. I guess it's hard to calculate uh, concave polygons in terms of physics. 
But there you go. And this is a fun game that you can play in the examples that features the new polygon blobs. Isn't, isn't that cool? And the idea is you've got to put all of these things up on top of the cat. And right now we only have 22 of them. I think there's 50 of them. So we have a ways to go to pile it. Probably would be better to just start over again and not, not mess with it so much. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, I think I can do it. Ooh, it's a big one. Where can I put it there? there oh! <laughs> All right, so there's your challenge. We do have another example right here, Fermenti Blob Physics, uh, introducing the blob physics shapes that look like a bunch of little houses. And the idea is you use those little houses to keep these two balls up. And if they're going to fall, then you need to kind of support it. But every time you touch a house, you you t points get taken away. Oh, no! Oh, and it snuck out there. And now I have to restart and ferment. So, uh, I, whoa, isn't that fun? So uh, just be careful. You got you to gotta pull one of these out and stop it from... Get it back in there. Get back in there. There we go. Okay, so that's the beginning. Isn't this fun? Oh, but, you know, I, I obviously didn't do it there. And I lose again. So those two examples have work, uh, we're working with blobs and physics as well. And once again, to join them, you can check out the cat food and see how we did the join. Physics.join and whatever things we want to join. It's not too hard. All right. I am Dr. Abstract. This has been a uh, what's bubbling in Zim or at Zim. <laughs> <laughs> and you're welcome to come find us at zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord. Those two links are now up at the top of the Zim site. Zim is, of course, at zimjs.com. We hope to see you there. And uh, it's so much fun building in Zim. Yay! Ciao!